Welcome to Small Seeds. My name is Madeline, and today we will be talking about another wild edible plant, Creeping Charlie. Creeping Charlie is a perennial herbaceous plant which can be found growing in the USDA hardiness zones 4 through 9. It is a member of the mint family and also goes by some other common names such as runaway robin, ale hoof, ground ivy, gill over the ground, many others, and the scientific name for this plant is Glaucoma heteracea. The plants sprawl out across the ground forming a dense mat in many situations. At each node, the plant will send out roots into the ground, and it also propagates itself through seeds. Creeping Charlie is a very aromatic plant, which can be easily noticed when the plant is cut or mowed over. The stems are square, which is a telling feature that it is in the mint family. The leaves are round and kidney-shaped with scalloped edges. They are slightly hairy and range in color from bright green to a darker green, and sometimes you will see a reddish-purple color around the edges of the leaves. The small flowers are a very pleasant lavender color, sometimes looking a bit darker or even slightly blue. The flowers are two-lipped with the upper lip consisting of two lobes and the lower lip consisting of three. Now because of its creeping habit and ability to root itself so easily, a lot of people don't like this, this plant. It will easily take over spaces in the garden and the lawn. Creeping Charlie has many traditional uses, but was mainly used as a medicinal herb. It's native to Europe and Asia and was brought to the North American continent by the European settlers. All right, so now we have enough to make some tea. I'll probably be drying some out for later use as well. So let's go. The young leaves are best eaten in the springtime and can be eaten raw or cooked. Many times it was added to dishes for its slightly minty flavor. It does taste a little minty. Uh, I find it to be more earthy, however. In 16th century England, before hops were introduced, they also used to brew it into beer to help flavor it and preserve it. So Creeping Charlie has traditionally been brewed into a tea for its medicinal benefits. It is very high in vitamin C. It has anti-inflammatory properties and is also a mild expectorant. So they used to use it for conditions of the lungs, ears, nose, throat. They also used it for ailments of the kidneys. And it was also sometimes crushed or bruised and inserted into the nostrils for headache relief. And of course it's always good to wash them before you start using them. Something to keep in mind is that some people do have allergic reactions to Creeping Charlie. If you do have an allergic reaction, discontinue use immediately and go see a doctor. Creeping Charlie is also highly toxic to horses. And this plant does contain an organic compound called Pulajone, which uh, can be toxic in very high amounts. So we are just gonna let this steep for a little bit. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully if you do come across Creeping Charlie in the future, you'll have a different perspective on it and possibly even make a cup of tea. Why are you creeping Charlie? You're growing all around. Why are you creeping Charlie? You've taken over the ground. You're edible, medicinal, and make a decent tea. Maybe one day they can see you're not just a weed.
Creeping, 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 Charlie. Creeping, 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 Charlie. Creeping, 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 Charlie.